In this video, I'm going to talk about the relationship between the period of a graph and the frequency of a graph. So the frequency of a graph is the number of full rotations between 0 and 2 pi. The period is the horizontal length of one rotation. So the relationship between these two very much um, goes back to 2 pi. 2 pi is the parent. 2 pi is one normal rotation around the unit circle. So we're always comparing back to 2 pi. Um, the other part of this relationship is that as the frequency increases, as you have more and more and more rotations, the length of one rotation gets smaller and smaller. So the more you rotate, the smaller each rotation is. As you can see in this example here, the frequency is going to be three. There's three full rotations between zero and two pi. So what does that make the period? So if we take zero to two pi and we break it up, we have three different pieces. So we divided two pi into three pieces. So the length of one rotation, the distance horizontally from this start of this rotation to the end of this rotation was two pi over three. Period is a distance. So that would be the same distance if you did any of the rotations. So from this point right here, horizontally to this point right here is also two pi over three. So in general, we can say that the period is equal to two pi divided by the frequency. Since however many times we've rotated is what we're splitting two pi up into equally, equal points. So period equals two pi divided by frequency. And as I said already, this is an inverse relationship. This is inverse variation. So as frequency increases, period decreases and vice versa. If frequency was decreasing, then period would be increasing. This also works the other way. So I'm just going to use some variables here to do a little math, make it a little easier. So frequency is thought of, we know from our work so far as the variable B in our equation. So let's say that P is equal to two pi divided by B. I could multiply both sides of the equation here by B since B over B makes one. So I could say P times B equals two pi. And then if I wanted to solve for B, I could divide both sides by P. So what I have now is another equation that's also important, which is that B is equal to two pi divided by P. Or frequency, which sometimes we need to find from a graph, is equal to two pi divided by the period. So these two formulas, that we will use a lot when writing equations can go in both directions because that is how inverse variation works. So if you know the frequency, you can do 2 pi divided by the frequency to find the period. And if you know the period, you could do 2 pi divided by the period to give you the frequency.